In our next segment, we're going to go to an event that's right here in the capital city that highlights DJs and their artistry. This event is near and dear to my heart, and in a second, you'll see why. It's not just a one aspect DJ competition. So in a lot of DJ competitions, uh, you know, we want to see who can scratch the best. And, you know, scratching is exciting, um, but it limits the amount of people that can participate and actually does not highlight the full versatility of a DJ. And so what the Capital City DJ Olympics does is you have to express yourself through mixing, so blending two different songs together and making it flawlessly sound like one song. We got the DJ Olympics tonight. We got Lance's top DJs rocking it out for the uh, championship for 2011. The guys that have put this together have been phenomenal in creating an environment so those DJs and the DJs that can promote themselves to, to all come together with all different genres, all different styles to do what they do best. Well, there's uh, a half a dozen DJs each night, and um, you know they get a they each get a 15 to 20 minute set to display their their talent. And you're gonna see all the different kinds of DJs, and you're gonna you're, yes you're gonna see your scratch DJ. Um, yes you're gonna see the guy with the violin. Yes you're gonna see um, you know house DJs, people playing you know underground music that you know you're just not familiar with. You're gonna hear people put together unique mashups of tracks that you just wouldn't think you know some 80s rock song with a with a hip hop beat behind it. And we've had people turn out to be kind of DJ snobs <laughs> yeah, yeah. from participating with the DJ Olympics. Just watching, you know, is that now when they go places, you know, they get a little upset if they see a guy that's just playing something off of iTunes, you know, that they could do with their iPod. You know, they want to see somebody actually putting work into their craft. It's helping to resurrect the DJ. Being a DJ myself, it is such a rewarding feeling when you hear, like, when you drop that track. And the crowd goes, oh! You know, they're actually listening and responding. You know, somebody will come up, you know, give you, you know, pound, man, that's my track. You know, oh my God, I haven't heard that in so long. Since we started the DJ Olympics, we have generated about $68,000 that has stayed in the local community. When you're talking about getting a DJ, you're looking to make a memorable night. 